welcome back to another learning series with mr knight today we are looking at electronic configuration first let us define what is electronic configuration electronic configuration shows the distribution or arrangement of electrons on the shells or energy levels that surround the nucleus of an atom today we're only focusing on the principles or the rules that govern the first 20 elements of the periodic table before we look at these rules let us first play a game this game is called follow the arrow notice the arrows that are blinking on each level the first level will earn us only two points so if we take a walk on that first level we will earn two marks for every jump or every level after the lower level we will get eight points so let us make our first jump let's make our second jump eight marks let us make our last jump awesome so we have completed this game and notice the amount of points we earn at each level let us try this another way again the first level two points second level eight points let us try skip a level oh no we should not skip any level we learned that the hard way now let us apply the principles of this game to electronic configuration to write electronic configuration we will put a certain number of electrons on each shell for the first 20 elements we can only have up to four shells each shell can hold a maximum of a certain number of electrons. The first shell can only take on a maximum of two electrons, just as in the game. The second, third, and fourth shell can take a maximum of eight electrons each, as in the game. So eight, eight, and eight. So remember the game, two on the first level, the other levels, a maximum of eight. Now, very important to note, to fill each level, remember we cannot skip any level. So, we start with the lower level first. So, this is the order of filling. You must fill the first level completely first before moving on to the second. The second level must be completely filled before moving on to the third. The third shell or the third energy level must be completely filled before moving on to the fourth. Let us apply these rules now to some examples. So this is what we're going to do. Here are four elements, sodium, oxygen, sulfur, and calcium. We are going to fill the shells with electrons, and then we're going to write the electronic configuration. So start out with sodium with 11 electrons. How many electrons can be placed on this first shell? Remember, lowest level, two maximum. We, we have 11 electrons, so how many remaining electrons are there? Nine. Can we put the entire nine electrons on this second level? Absolutely not, but we can put eight. And since this now is completely filled, we have one remaining, so we can put that extra one on the third shell. So the electronic configuration for sodium will be 2, 8, and 1. So this is how we write it. Let's look at oxygen with 8 electrons. Matter of fact, you could pause the video and try it on your own before I put the answers up. Now let us look at this one. The first shell must be occupying with 2 maximum electrons. We have 8. So we put on 2. How many we have remaining? We have six so we can put three here and three here no we cannot we must put everything on this until it is what completely filled 
So the remaining six electrons must go on this second shell. So the electronic configuration for oxygen will be two and six. Let us look at sulfur with 16 electrons. First shell holds a maximum of two. The second level, eighth. So we could put eighth, eight electrons on this one. The third shell, now since we already have 10 electrons and we have 16 to work out with, then how many remaining? We have six remaining, so the six could go right there. So the electronic configuration, this is now 16, so the electronic configuration now is 2, 8, and 6. What about calcium with 20 electrons? First shell, always 2. The second shell could put 8, and that will only make up 10. So this now is completely filled. We could go to the third and we have 10 more electrons remaining we cannot put the entire 10 right here but we can put eight what about this last one already we have 18 electrons so we have remaining two so the two electrons could go on the fourth shell so in all now we have 20 electrons so the electronic configuration for calcium will be 2882 so now you understand how to write electronic configuration. So you can look in the periodic table for the number of electrons, which is the same thing as the atomic number or the proton number. And you can see the lesson on atoms and elements. Now let us look at some importance of electronic configuration. Why is this so important to note? And I'm saying you need to know this before you do a lot of topics within chemistry. So to know electronic configuration, first you can determine the group that you can place the element in. It can help you to determine the period you place the element in. You can also use it to determine the valency of elements. You can use it to determine metallic properties to determine if the element is a metal or a non-metal. You can also use it to predict chemical bonding or chemical reactions that the element can take place in. And there are other chemical properties or behaviors that you can use the, veil, the electronic configuration to determine. So now we are at the end of the lesson and I hope you really enjoy this lesson and I'm looking forward to see you in the other lesson. So keep safe until we meet again.